Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So this goes along with my previous updating video. Now, if you get this error called, well, command flash error, you will need to do a couple of things to, I guess, fix this. This is only for devices with a bootloader that is prior from the de December update, which I am. I was on the November update when trying to do this. So you're gonna get this error when flashing it. So the tip is that you'll need to sideload a full OTA or update your phone via an OTA past the December update or to the December update. Since um, I was doing a video for updating to 8.1, which is December, or past the 8.0 December update, I'll be showing you using the full OTA that you can download here from the developers.google.com site. And I'm downloading the one for Walleye, Pixel 2, and the one for 8.0. So you will need to uh, download this. So if you're on the developer preview through the official OTA means, then you are safe. Otherwise, you will need to follow this video, and this is how you're going to update your rooted or modded Pixel 2 um, using the full OTA. So I guess to get started, uh, let me just close a few things here, it's quite confusing. So yeah, to get started, you'll need to download the full OTA file for your phone. Now I've downloaded this here in my folders. See, this full OTA for 8.1, so you're going to need that. You'll also need the stock boot image for the current build that you're on. So for example, if you go to, if we just go to our device here, and I'll show you what build I'm on. Sorry about the lighting, let me just turn it on. Okay, so you can currently see I'm on the OPD1-1708 blah 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 dot 25, and this is the November update. So that OTA, I mean factory image, I do have, so if I just, uh, whoop. so if we just go back to our computer here, I have a factory image that contains the stock, I guess, you know, system and boot images that we need, which is the OPD one. So here it is. You'll need so the so these are the files you need: the full OTA file that is going to take you past a December bootloader, and also you also want to get the stock boot image because the recovery is now part of the boot image. And if you've installed Magisk or anything like that, you'll probably want to have the stock boot image there. So this is the way it's going to go. We're going to flash. So open up a command prompt window. So you'll still need the uh, Android SDK platform tools, which you can download from the link below. And what you want to do here is now going to reboot our phone into the bootloader. So to do that, of course, we'll need to just quickly go <laughs> to our phone. And we're going to power off our device. This shouldn't wipe any data, but I would back up everything just in case before you do this. Uh, because this is or should be a one-time thing to fix up. So I'm going to tap on restart and as soon as my screen freezes or turns black I'm going to hold the volume down button. So now just keep holding that until you get into the bootloader. Okay, once you're in the bootloader we are going to flash the stock boot image to get rid of Magisk. So we're going to flash the stock boot image first. So going along from here, you're going to need the factory image and you want to go into the image, so into this, um, the images zip and extract the stock boot image here. So I'm just gonna close that and I'm gonna go here and I got the stock boot image. I'm gonna flash this to both the A and B slots. Currently I'm on slot B, but uh, we can just flash each slot uh, manually, I guess. So we can type in fast boot devices, make sure our device is connected in fast boot. You can see the serial number here. Next up, we're going to flash the boot image to the boot A partition. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash boot underscore A, leave a space over here and drag in the boot image from your current build of Android. Now we're going to flash the same one on the boot, uh, sorry, the B side of things. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash boot underscore B, leave a space after that and drag in the boot image as well. Hit enter. And once again, this boot image is from the current build of Android that you are on currently from the factory image. Once you've got that done, we're going to reboot into the recovery mode. And to do this, we're going to go to our phone here and press the volume buttons to change this like menu. Change it to where it says recovery mode and then hit the power button to select it. And your phone should boot into stock recovery. If it's got TWRP, this, uh, what we just flashed here should replace it. So don't worry about that. We're going to wait for our phone to boot into recovery now. Okay, so you're going to get this no command little Android guy there. Now to get up the menu, you want to hold the power button and press volume up. So I'm going to hold the power button and press volume up. And then you'll see this Android recovery menu. This is the one you're going to need to look at. 
So right now, I'm going to go use the volume button to go down to apply update from ADB, and we're going to press the power button to select that. Now this puts our phone into sideload mode, and to sideload our full OTA, which we've downloaded over here now. So what we're going to do in our command prompt is type in ADB devices, just to make sure that our phone is connected, and make sure it says it says sideload here as the current mode, and then we're going to type in ADB sideload, leave a space after the sideload, drag in our full OTA like so. And this is going to start sending the OTA to our phone, and you can see that it will update or verify the update package down here. So you're going to have to look through mainly on your phone, make sure everything is going okay. So as you can see, the full OTA completed successfully. As long as your OTA finishes installing with install from ADB complete, uh, I think we can get started again. So pretty much what you want to do now is reboot back into the bootloader. And just have a look at what slot you're on, because depending on what it was, uh, we'll probably need to patch or use Magisk Manager to patch it again. So yeah, we're on slot A now. So that would mean we can boot TWRP and then I guess uh, flash Magisk, but I think we'll just use the Magisk Manager to do it again. So you can see the bootloader has changed, well, incremented its version, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is just press start to boot our phone straight into Android. And from there, we'll use the Magisk Manager, which should, which should still be on our phone to patch the latest boot image for our 8.1 update. So to do that, of course, you'll need the latest version of the Magisk Manager on your phone. And of course, you'll need the factory image for the 8.1 update, which I have right here. So if I just extract all of these just to get the boot image. Uh, from there, we will patch it, copy it over to our phone and use Magisk Manager to patch it. And then we'll head back into the bootloader and flash the patched boot image. And then we should be rooted once again on Android 8.1. Now this should be the only time that you'll have to do this is if you are on the November or maybe even yeah a November bootloader as the ones in December have fixed this issue of flashing the bootloader image in fastboot. Okay so our phone's booted up. You can see it's on 8.1 by the updated Oreo logo I guess. Our phone hasn't been wiped which is a good sign. So now we are going to use Magisk to patch the boot image that we provided. So again, I'm just going to go back to our desktop here. So the boot image you want to copy over is the one from the 8.1 factory image to root the current build of Android that you're on right now. Not your previous one, but the one you're on right now, which is the 8.1 update. So copy this boot image. Now see, I heard someone talk bootloader in one of my other videos, my rooting Pixel 2. And no, the bootloader and the boot image are different please don't use the bootloader image, use the boot image because that's inside the images zip file within the factory image so just double check that you're getting this boot image it's a very short name, boot.img copy that to your phone I already have, so let's just go into Magisk Manager and I think... okay, so we've got Magisk Manager telling us that there's a new version to install you can see we're not rooted up here that's because we did have to take that full OTA but what we're going to do is tap on install and then patch the boot image file and what we're going to do is locate that boot image file which just should be at the bottom here tap on that and then it's going to download the latest version of Magisk make sure it does say 14.5 but if it doesn't all you need to do is swipe over to the settings and then change the update channel from stable make sure it's selected to be beta and then you'll get that, that 14.5 update so right now it's just going to download the latest version of Magisk here may take a while because of my Australian internet but once that's done it'll patch the boot image and I'll show you what to do after that okay so Magisk has just finished downloading and patching the boot image that we provided it the 8.1 boot image now to root our phone we're going to flash that patched boot image back to our or onto our device so again we are going to need to copy off that patched boot image now let's just go back to our computer here and let's see, where's our phone? Okay, so we just need to go to our phone. Of course, we need to change the USB mode to transferring files. And there it is. And we'll go to the Magisk Manager folder down here. And 
and then download or copy our patched boot image out of there into let's just say our Android folder actually no it's a bit messy in there isn't it okay I'm just gonna copy it to the full OTA folder like so let's just close some stuff once you got your boot patched boot image out of there we're gonna reboot our phone into the bootloader now you can do that using the ADB commands but I think I'll just hold the buttons here and tap and hold and then press restart and then with our phone plugged in as soon as the restart screen freezes or turns black like it is now hold the power oh, sorry the volume down button until your phone gets into the bootloader okay once it's in the bootloader I'll just straighten this out we can now flash the image our, our boot image to check that to root out device I should say so to do this we're going to type in fastboot devices make sure our device is connected here you'll see the serial number pop up and then we're going to flash the boot image the patched one of course I'm going to type in fastboot flash boot leave a space in the end and just drag in the boot image like so now that's all we need to do we can reboot but since the whole idea of this video was to update our bootloader into a version that I guess fixes the bug where you can't flash any bootloaders I'm going to go back to the my factory image folder and go to the one we have OPM and I'm going to try flash the bootloader. Now I can see this one ends in 006600 and that is the same one we have on the screen here. So it should flash unlike last times. So I'm going to type in fast boot flash bootloader. Leave space in the end and this is just to check if we can or we have our fixed bootloader. And yes, you can see that it's fine. Our bootloader has been updated. So that fixes that up so we know that we can use fastboot anytime we want now. What we're going to do here is just reboot our phone. We can just go up until it says start and press the power button and our phone should boot into Android and from there we'll be able to see that we're rooted using Magisk and on the latest version of Android. So I'm going to fast forward this part and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so our phone has booted up really quickly. Let's just uh, unlock that and let's open up Magisk. There you are. You can see we're rooted on Magisk and I guess maybe we can have a look at Safety Net if it works. Okay, no, it doesn't, but yeah, I'm used to doing that. But we'll go into the system and then go to About Phone and see we're on Android 8.1 and on the latest build. So thanks for watching guys, this is how you update your phone if you had the bugged bootloader for, from the November update. But if you are on, say for example, the developer previews, you wouldn't have this problem. So you can look at my other video. But thanks for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.